Jose Aldo the champion. Chad Mendez the challenger. He cannot wait to get this started. Five rounds of fighting for the featherweight title. Aldo. Mendez. Blue trunks for Chad Mendez. Green trunks for Jose Aldo. Mendez with the early leg kick. He's putting pressure on him right away. The whole theme of his training camp was to make Aldo work. Aldo is, in my opinion, most dangerous in the first round. And Mendez really wants to mimic the game plan of Frankie Edgar. We saw in that first round, Edgar took a lot of damage from Aldo via jab and leg kicks, but... Nice combination, combination by the champion. Oh, nice counter. Vicious body shot landed by Aldo. Oh, he caught him with that left, Brian. That's the danger. When you want to make him work, this is what happens. You awake the sleeping giant. Looking to sweep the leg again. Jose Aldo got clipped. Now, he also landed a nice right hand right before he got caught with an overhand of his own. A lot of kicks early for Mendez. Oh! Aldo down for a moment. And Big right left back hook. up. Big left hook by Mendez. That stunned him. And that makes a statement early. It certainly does. Oh, uh, just missed with that uppercut. Mendez says, I am now a complete mixed martial artist. And you could see a lot of confidence on the face of well, Chad Mendez he, right yeah, now. Yeah, he'll, he'll unleash now. Not just wrestling, the striking, the clinch game, everything in his arsenal. And he's got to be careful because at any moment, Jose Aldo can strike, as Chad learned in his first fight. Chad said, I got complacent literally for a second, and it cost me the fight. Good left again by Mendez. Chad worked extensively on checking leg kicks. We saw it in Jose Aldo's fight against Chan Sung Jung. He only kicked the Korean Zombie once and broke his foot because he kicked so hard. Well, the, the kicking display against Uriah Faber was at times hard to watch. Oh. Jose was so dominant against the California kid. The California kid so tough he was hanging in there. Yeah, his entire leg turned purple after that fight. TJ Dillashaw shocked the world, defeating Henan Burrell. Can yep. his teammate do it tonight here in Rio? Another nice leg kick there from Mendes, but he eats a body kick from Aldo. Just about to the midway point of the first of the potential five five-minute rounds. Interesting to see Mendes is standing right in front of Aldo. Talk to him this week, that was not something he wanted to do. He wanted to cut more angles and work around the more stationary fighter in Jose Aldo. He also wants that pressure factor. He wants to be in the face of Jose Aldo, and he is so far. He is doing that. He is making Aldo work, no doubt. Mendez, that five-fight win streak, four of the wins by knockout, four straight, in fact. On the counter with the left. Oh, another nice left hand from Mendez. Ooh, huge Big combination, combination there from Aldo. Aldo. Everything Aldo lands hurts, yeah, but Mendes there you see. with a smile, which means it probably hurt. Yeah, he shrugs it off. There's the first Ooh. big leg kick. Aldo gets out of the way of the kick from Mendez. He checked that nicely with his knee. Oh, Aldo, Aldo to the body. Aldo went to the body, but he ate a beautiful counter left hook and a nice combination there from Chad Mendez. Yeah, the hands just look very, very good so far for Mendez. Bang Ludwig has been such a huge factor at Team Alpha Male. And interesting for this camp, Dwayne Ludwig actually wasn't there with Mendes for the last month. But so far, so good in gaining the respect of Aldo on the feet. Well, Martin Campman doing a nice job with the striking as well. Accidental eye poke. Stay there, stay there. Right, Chad's face. hyped up. Yeah, this is exactly what he doesn't me. want. He doesn't want Aldo getting Look a chance me. to Look rest. Can you see? He wants to keep the pace okay? high. Doctor, doctor, stay where you are, please. And you can see right there, he's trying to trying to get his range and block those punches and pair him, and his fingers are wide and catches Aldo right in the eye. But this is the exact opposite of what Mendez wants. That's why he wants to get this thing started. He wants to keep that pace high. The only chinks in the armor of Jose Aldo we've seen come in rounds four and five, like the Hominick fight and like the Frankie Edgar fight. Both which, by the way, he still won. Oh. Aldo comes out strong. Mendez right in his face again. Wow. Look at that combination.
submission. Oh, huge knee. knee. Mendez. He eats it. Oh, look how fast Aldo gets back up. Mendez put him down. Aldo just bounces right back. Just oh, big, big left hook by Jose Aldo. He lands again on top. Trying to finish Mendez. Mendez has got to try and control all those wrists here and recover. That's another big left. Oh, and he's Full in the mouth. 20 seconds on the clock. He rocked him. And Mendez is out. This is the danger when you want to make the champ work. This is how he works. Put another left on the side of the head of Mendez. Uppercut. And Chad still hasn't recovered. Oh, oh, oh my! That was way after the buzzer. That last right hand was way after the buzzer. The last two. Two punches. Yeah, the last two. And then that last one he landed was the most significant. What do you say about trying to tame the tiger? Well, he said, don't hit it with a twig. Right. Well, I mean, that, that's the referee's job when he knows that buzzer's coming. He's got to get in between the fighters when they're exchanging like that. Mendez scored early, looks confident, but Jose Aldo able to push it to that gear. And he rocked and again, him. Mendez says, okay, I've improved a lot. Jose hasn't. I say to you again, Brian, though, how much more can he improve? Oh. His technique is as sound as it gets. He showed there when, when, he ha he, when he puts out a lot of output, he hurts people bad. He hurt Chad very badly twice in that round, and Chad would be very wise to try and keep this in the clinch or get it to the mat. Mendez said, accidental. You know, it's accidental, but you know, the, in round one, when he poked Aldo in the eye, it benefited Jose Aldo. This could very well benefit Mendez. He may not have recovered from that right hand yet. Oof. Went for the knee and the toes. Ouch. We've had nine Brazilian champions in UFC history. The only one active is Jose Aldo. And Chad Mendez wants to make it an American sweep. They continue. So quick. Wow. So is Aldo. Both of these guys are incredible athletes. Longtime soccer player, Jose Aldo. Mendez moving a lot more now here in round two than he was in round one. And he's switching his stance often as well. Now he's doing what he wanted to do and making Aldo work. If he can survive this round, We'll see how much of the gas tank is left for Jose Aldo, who's known to fade a little bit because he cut so much weight to get to 145 pounds. Mendez, a little bit of red on that left leg, but he wants to keep that leg in and out, so Aldo just can't start to tee off on it. Man, that's part of the reason why Mendez is switching stances so Absolutely. much. Absolutely. Get that, get that left leg out of harm's way. I don't care what weight class it is. If Jose Aldo hits you in the leg, that would drop heavyweight. Nicely done, Jose Aldo. A little classic Muay Thai there. Well, Checked. Here's what Aldo wants. Oh, ah, Mendez. Says, I got that kick. But this is what Aldo wants. He wants Mendez standing in front of him. This is where he excels. You give Jose Aldo a stationary target, he will unleash combinations that are devastating. To the body. Mendez again, yeah. nice body kick. With that lead left, and he switches with the right side. Very smart of Chad Mendez to start attacking the body of Aldo if his game plan is to attrit him. That's a heavy leg kick. And missed, though. Just past the midway point of the second round of this championship fight. And yeah, see, this is the pace where the champ gets criticized a little bit. Did tremendous damage to finish round one when he was being offensive. Now he's kind of happy to counter and use that laser jab of his. 17 fight winning streak 
Feraldo has not lost since 2005. Look at that jab, unbelievable. So fast. Really put that on display in the Frankie Edgar fight. Oh, huge combination countered there by Chad Mendez. Mendez again, that kick was checked. To the body. Oh. Vicious hook to the body by Aldo. See if Jose keeps the combinations going or starts to go one punch at a time. Not a whole lot of takedown attempts from Chad Mendez. And again, that's just due to the takedown defense of Jose Aldo. Gray Maynard has gone down there to train with those guys and come back saying, look, I'm a 155-pounder and a big one at that. And I couldn't get Jose down. And that's in training. The guys are tired. Yeah. I asked his coach, Andre Pedner, said, hey, does anybody get Jose down? He says, only when I get him really, really tired, some of the guys from Brazilian National Wrestling Team can get him down. But it's usually at the end of practice, and they can't hold him down. Yeah, after 10 rounds for Aldo, right? Yeah. Pretty even round two. Ooh, another nice body shot by Aldo. You see a little swagger and some confidence in Mendez. Yeah, well now he's recovered. He's recovered from that late combination in round one. Oh, head kick. I was surprised that Aldo didn't come out a little bit more aggressive in trying to capitalize on the fact that he hurt Mendez so bad. Mendez tried to stutter step in. Best footwork at Team Alpha Male, possessed by the Bantamweight champion, TJ Dillashaw. Certainly. Final seconds of the round. Oh, nice left hand there from Mendez, right as he switches stances. There he is, the California kid, Uriah Faber, Andre Feely. He also a member of Team Alpha Male. Oh, Aldo comes out swinging. Everything he throws is so vicious. Checked. Pedanera said to Jose Aldo, you're up 2-0. And oh. another poke. That's a danger of pushing away with that open hand. It is. Aldo getting a little frustrated as well. It was the left eye the first time, now it's the right eye. Yeah, and Chad's just, he's got to tighten up those fingers when he's in listen, close listen like that. Me. Listen good, okay? You have to think about your technique. Okay. That's two times now. Okay, no, 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 listen to me, please. Think about your technique. Oh, no, no, no. If it, oh, no, oh, no. Okay. I know you're not doing it on purpose. Yeah, yeah. If it happens again, I will be forced to take a point. Okay. Please think about your hands, okay? Thank you. Okay. I told him he has to think about his technique, okay? This is accidental. If it happens again, I'm going to be forced to take a point. You understand? Concentrate on your fight. Thank you. Mark Goddard Come taking in, control right, of the situation. Come in. Accidental. The battle continues. But if it happens again, a point deduction to Mendez, and that could be huge Man. if this fight goes the distance. These guys are chucking now. Oh, huge left hand there, lands right in the bridge of the nose of Aldo. Very early here in round three. Oof. Just missed with that left hook. The speed of the champion is incredible. Nice body shot there from Aldo. Combinations like Andre Pettinier has called for. The only featherweight champion in UFC history. Switching back and forth again. And Aldo faints a little bit before his combinations. He's disrupting the rhythm there of Aldo. And that's having some success landing his shots. When he stands straight like this, this is where he eats a lot of those jabs from Aldo. Coming into tonight, Aldo has never been knocked down. Caught him with that quick hook. It looked like he was knocked down from that left hand around one. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's why I said window. coming into tonight. <laughs> Pressuring is the champion. Well, when Aldo decides to get off first, it is tough to stop. Oh, oh my. And, and this is a case, Brian, of Chad Mendes could still very well win this fight. 
But oh. this is a case of Chad Mendes going, I've improved exponentially, but still Jose Aldo has an answer. Yeah, no, this 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 not this fight's not unwinnable for either man right now. With the way these guys are throwing, it wouldn't surprise me to see one of them unconscious before the end of this fifth round. Aldo has won nine straight title fights. 9-0 in fights scheduled for five rounds. Just past the midway point of this championship bout. And all those coaches told him, he said, make sure you finish the round well. Wants him to close these rounds. With two minutes left, we'll see how active he is in that last minute. Make that statement in the judges' minds. Not that many kicks from Aldo. And not that many takedown attempts by Mendez. Oh, oh got him. Oh, and again, Pushing he's hurt. Forward. The champ Auto is dropped. But he answers. And Chad's got to be careful going in there with his hands low. Jose got him. Oh, 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 talked about. oh, big knee. What a sequence. Big shots by Aldo. Both of these guys are still rocked. Mendez. Oh, the takedown defense of Aldo is just incredible. Absolutely. Even when Chad ducks under the punches, gets in on the hips, he just can't even move him back. Aldo's looking at Mark Goddard saying, is he intelligently defending himself? And Mark said yes. Yeah, he's wishful thinking there. It wasn't long enough. But, oh, another big left hook to the champ, and again. Oh! Mendez, this is the best thing he can do is tie up Aldo right here. Very smart. That Foot shows. soft. It shows he wasn't that rocked by that left hook if he's able to duck under and get that high crotch and get the lift. Old school foot Oof. stomp. And as you mentioned, Aldo suffered a broken foot. It was on a kick against Chan Sung Jung. Now, anything that Chad can do to maintain this position so that Mark Goddard doesn't separate them, whether it be knees. Right in front of Bang Ludwig. Well, what recovery by Aldo. He was hurt bad. Mendez missed on the last few. Got him on that one. But you said it, Brian. He's got to be careful still. Don't drop the hands. And boom, Aldo score. They're in there talking to each other. Mendez just said something, and both guys smiled at each other. I mean, there was some bad blood oh, back yeah. and forth, but the reality is these two guys respect Ooh. each other. Yeah, especially when you knock each other around like this. Wow, what a oh. round. And the big flurry started with a Chad Mendez uppercut. Boom, right there, Chad fakes the level change, comes up with the uppercut. Got a little cocky, came in and eats that overhand right. And it's worthy of note that Jose Aldo is 5-0 in five round fights that go the distance. Still got a long way to go before we get there. We've never seen the champ endure that much damage in the first three rounds before. But several times now, he's rocked Chad Mendes. The and real De Janeiro fans trying to support the native of Manaus. Mendez, listen to Bang Ludwig. He asked for more movement. We'll see if Aldo will finish his combinations with more kicks like Andre Pedner has asked for. Team Alpha Male worked so long and so hard to get a UFC belt to Sacramento. They have a chance tonight to get their second inside the gym by beating another brilliant Brazilian. Henry Barrao, TJ Dillashaw, Mendez and Aldo here tonight. And it just shows how hard it is to win that belt. And they finally got their first belt with TJ Dillashaw in such a talented camp. American top team, one of the best camps in the world, has never had a UFC belt. Especially considering how dominant a fighter Uriah Faber had been over the years. To the body. Punch, that was a punch. Aldo, Aldo tried to say that was an eye poke. Mark got it on top of it, said it was a punch. Nice uppercut there from Mendez again. Chad does need to be careful, though, because in a close fight like this, a point deduction could be costly. Huge. It would be absolutely huge. And 
crazy to think that he could get a point deduction for an eye poke and Aldo didn't get one for two late punches that rocked the challenger badly after round one. Great point. But he get the point deduction for a third eye poke. Three minutes. Oh, another nice jab. And look at the left eye of Jose yeah. Aldo. And He's saying accidental headbutt. And Goddard saying, let's just fight. Uppercut again. A lot of bleeding out of the left eye. They're under the left eye of Jose Aldo. A little cut near the forehead. See that on the hairline of Mendez? So there might have been an accidental headbutt. Yes. But the action continues. Well, the initial. What Jose Aldo thought was a poke in the eye was actually an uppercut from Chad Mendez. Able to see the replay here. Maybe we'll be able to show it to you guys in between rounds at home. Much different than fight one. That ended with one second on the clock in the very first round. Yeah, well, when I asked Aldo about the striking improvements from Mendez, he said, all I see is a right hand. He's got no other weapons. I am sure Jose Aldo's opinion has changed now. Aldo trying to turn the corner. Mendez with that huge windup. He's starting to he's starting he's to look. He might have gotten poked. He's starting to look for that uppercut a little too much. You gotta be careful, Aldo doesn't hit him with a left hook. Mark Goddard says, nope, continue to fight, boys. Checked. Nice right hand counter there from Aldo. Every round has been close, Brian. It has. You know, I think this is, out of all those rounds, this may be the one that most definitely being won by Mendez right now. Oh, a nice combination there from Mendez again. You know, Mendez, round... the attacker, the aggressor. Ooh, big here right in this hand. round. Now, in round one is tough to score. Both guys hurt each other, but the most significant damage actually came after the bell. How do the judges score round one? Just missed with the right. Aldo has not gone back to those kicks like his coach has asked for. We saw that in his last fight as well, where it really hurt his foot when he just kicked so hard that when you check him like he just did to Mendez, it does tremendous damage to his own foot. And he said pre-fight, I'm gonna land some kicks, I'm gonna change the complexion of this fight, I'm gonna beat him again. Under 30. Ooh, another nice combination from Aldo. He's really trying to close this round and oh just I misses mean, on just the double miss. Well, that shows he's still got some cardio in the tank and explosiveness. Oh. On, there's no doubt he's still throwing plenty of power. Mark Goddard right on top of the action. He wants to jump right in. There's the uppercut right in the eye of Jose Aldo. Boom, fakes the shot, comes right back upstairs, the uppercut. Very nice technique from Chad Mendez. And this final round could very well decide the winner of this fight. Five minutes remain. Mendez strikes first. Caught him with the left. And again. Two hooks have connected to the job, Jose Aldo. That right hand that Aldo just landed on Mendez seemed to stop Mendez right in his tracks. Aldo came to Rio de Janeiro at age 17 with literally nothing. His story is remarkable. Him living on the gym, cleaning the gym. Grew up in the tough streets of Manaus. And, and that's really the story of almost all the fighters of Nova Union. Oh, beautiful. And he does. Aldo looking at Andre Pettineris. Excellent timing on that double leg by Mendez. Chad's got to stay busy here, try to and advance. Doesn't want to lose this position when the referee's standing him up. He's got to try and get one of his arms around the head of Aldo and then rotate him away from the fence. He's going to try to do it around his waist, and you can see Aldo getting his legs back to the fence now. Can Chad 
earn points from this position, Brian? Or is he better off standing and trading with Aldo? Now, he's a great, he's controlling the position right now, so yes. But he's allowing Aldo to rest a little bit, which could come back to bite him if Aldo's able to get up. And if Mendez is behind on the scorecards, he's got to finish this fight, obviously. Yeah, I would think Mendez That's needs. Yeah. I think Mendez needs to win this round. I agree. At the very least. Aldo pushing forward still. Just over three minutes remain. Oh, oh. nice combination. The champion oh. with the knee. And he slides out of harm's way. Watch out, Chad Mendez. Incredible. He catches the knee to the chest, goes for the takedown, Aldo still able to recover. This may be the largest test of the UFC featherweight champion's career. And he hasn't gassed out. No, and, I, and I'll agree with that. You know, the Mark Homnick fight, he gassed out. Yes, and that was my a, kind of my point, right? He, he had a lot of trouble cutting the weight, almost passed out doing some of the promotions for that fight the week of. He's never taken damage like this. But he has weathered it and landing some beautiful combinations here in round five. And as I mentioned earlier, Jose Aldo 5-0 and in five-round fights that go the distance. Uppercut. Two minutes remain. Oh, rocked again with the right hand. Oh, nice Both jab back from going Mendes. for the finish. Man, if we get to the last 30 seconds of yeah. this fight, watch out. Buckle up. Just shows the kind of conditioning these two men have that they've been able to recover. Aldo turns the corner nicely. 90 seconds remain. You see Mendez, both guys exhausted. But Mendez sitting right in front of Aldo here, a little bit too much. Chad tried that lead left hook. Ducks under. Excellent timing. Look at the takedown defense of Aldo, though. He's still up. He's still tied up now. That's not a groin shot. Mendez has got a minute. One minute remains in our championship fight. The Very rematch. Good. Very close fight. I think both men can try and steal the round right now. I would put Jose Aldo ahead so far in round five. Jose has been pushed. As you said, Brian, perhaps unlike never before, but he's had the answer. Now, so many of these rounds have been close. Both guys getting hurt. I, I'm glad I'm not a judge and instead sit next to you tonight. Uppercut. 20 seconds. Another nice leg kick check by Aldo. 10 seconds remain. Swing and a miss. Oh, nice right hand for Mendez. Pushing forward. They go the distance in the rematch here in Rio de Janeiro. And there's that, my respect. friend, was a great championship fight. Incredible. Back and forth. Both guys adapting to the other skills and game plan. The lone Brazilian champion, modern day, in the UFC, Pedro Hizzo with Jose Aldo. Let's go all the way back to the first round and break it down, Brian. Well, right away, we knew that Mendez wanted to push the pressure. And there he is, right at the beginning of the round. Hits Aldo with a nice left hook, but then he knocks down Mendez. Big uppercut there from the champion. Really putting on, that was the end of round one after the buzzer, but had Mendez rocked badly. Round two, nice body shot there from the champion. Really was just back and forth striking, beautiful head kick. And round oh. three, there is one of many huge uppercuts landed by the challenger. They fought up with two of those left hooks and stunned the champion. 
came forward, thought he was going to finish Aldo, and then Aldo rocked Mendez back and forth. And then round four, really the most dominant, I believe, by Chad Mendez. Really was getting off first, moving, being very smooth with his combinations. And round five, Aldo landed several very nice punches, but a big double leg there from Mendez. Nice combination there from the champion. Defends the takedown. Tough one to score, but back and forth, incredible job. And man, what a fight put on by both of these Warriors. Uriah Faber, Jose Aldo. No more bad blood, a lot of mutual respect after this one. Will Aldo defend, or will Mendez be the new champion? Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46 for the winner. And still, the undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Jose. Pettineris and a bunch of happy Jose Aldo fans as he wins by unanimous decision for his seventh UFC title defense.